Dr. Jose Burgos is the most concerned he's been since the virus reached El Paso. He's frustrated because there's still so many unanswered questions about COVID-19. Just like last week, I asked him the same seven questions. Here's what he had to say. How has this past week gone for you? This is the busiest that we have been since the pandemia started, uh, since we detected the first case. And uh, doesn't seem to be slowing down at this point. Can hospitals handle the current number of patients? We can handle the volume at this point, but again, we are the busiest that we have been since March. No question about it. What should people at home be doing right now? Please be careful who you read the news from, what type of platform are you using to get your information? But just there, there is enough scientific evidence to understand that this is basic. We have been using masks for years to pro protect ourselves from tuberculosis. We have been using masks for years to protect patients from us when we're operating on them. So this is not a game. I mean, this is just the way it is. Masks work. What's the most eye-opening thing you've seen this week? People might be doing well one day, they might be crashing next day. We are keeping them on high doses of steroids, antivirals, you know, you name it. We're using things that we have never used or that we haven't used in years, and we just hope for the best. But some people, some people will just not respond to the treatment. What's your prediction for next week? I don't see this getting better anytime soon. Not as long as we are not protecting ourselves. What is giving you hope at this time? There is treatment, even though we don't understand how this behave and the way that we, we cannot predict how our patients will do. Uh, most of them are coming out of the hospital. So that is the only thing that is keeping me hopeful at this point. What's your message to the borderland? This is not something that the government will come and help us and save us from this. This is personal responsibility. Is you educating your family? Is you wearing a mask? Understanding that this is not a political game at all. We've now done this segment for three months. And for perspective, on April 9th, El Paso had only one coronavirus death and 225 cases. We're now at more than 8,300 cases and 145 deaths. You can find all of these past segments on our website, kvia.com. Just search check-in. Mauricio Casillas, ABC7.